Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. We're back playing Marvel Heroes Omega once again. And if you actually haven't been paying attention, there has been a few changes. Marvel Heroes Omega has a new patch update going up to 1.12. Even though the patch notes listed in the actual forum say 1.11, and the uh, game itself says 1.12, I'm not too sure what's up. But one thing that did notice, if you just saw right behind us there, that was the four new characters, uh, Black Cat, Nightcrawler, Elektra, and Venom showing on the main title screen. So, of course, Venom is the expected next ne next character to arrive, but it was very surprising to see Venom shown on the title screen already for the game. So, obviously, there's going to be um, another pack release for him later on, I imagine, but at the moment, the one that we're going to be paying attention to is the fact that we have... <laughs> so I knew I was going to say, try to time that so whenever it came up on the screen, but it didn't work for me. We have the uh, Defenders pack sitting here and a electro pack as well look so you have electric character pack that you can buy you have defender or hell's kitchen loot crates that you can actually get and then of course there's a seal and other details on uh just give me a second i'm just going to jump out oh no that's not what i want to do i'm going to jump out of this location and go to somewhere where people aren't going to be shouting over the top of me in the background or revving their cars and engines <laughs> constantly as annoying as that can be um the the new content obviously is uh, oop, there we go listen the patch notes now just to kind of go through it there is a defenders event going on related to the netflix defenders tv series uh, and it will be a new mission and a new daily so there's an, uh, an account mission and a daily mission and the daily mission actually is doing something impressive where we are getting a loot crate for every time we complete it once per day you know like the the daily event for it so no longer do you have to actually be grinding or having to specifically pay for those crits during the time of the event, you can get as many as there is days of the event, which is a nice change. A lot of people were complaining about the fact there was no way to earn the actual crits. You had to still spend money to do so, but this is going to alleviate that a little bit for a lot of people, but probably obviously not enough for many because they want to play more, play more, play more, but I don't know. Well, I'd, you have to keep that balance so you don't make it too easy for people to be able to unlock everything very quickly. But uh, yeah, Defenders event's coming up. It's giving a 10% bonus to the characters related to the Hell's Kitchen storyline. So you're chatting uh, Iron Fist, Elektra, Daredevil, and Luke Cage are all getting a 10% boost for the entirety of the period of the event. There is new items, new artifacts to go through. Uh, but specifically what we're looking at and what we're going to be looking at in this video is the Hell's Kitchen loot box and the costumes that are available inside it. Now, some of these I already have, some of these I don't have. But the one that's really trying to get, the ones I want are the Elektra costume uh maskless which would be nice and a punisher costume which would be nice so that's the two ones that i'm actually thinking of uh the, outside of that i'm not too concerned about the costumes but uh getting the iron fist one would be nice as well because i don't know why i don't already have it I, I, oh that's because i got iron fist from Clegg, open, getting all the other characters so i didn't buy the costume back then and um yeah there, there's a nine was it two four six eight uh, yeah, well, it's like, well, sorry, I'm trying to read this with my eyes, and they're actually like the screen's looking weird to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten costumes, and we're going to actually go and see what we can get in a 25 pack of the Hell's Kitchen loot crates. So we'll go and buy those quickly, and then we'll jump back in and take a look at that seal that's on. I, the pricing on the G's is changing a wee bit, but I don't know how long that seal's going to keep going. So uh, buy five. Let's jump and grab five, 25 of these. So, as always, never fun, not enjoyable. It There's a little tension in my test every time I buy it. So, five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Ah, that never feels right. So, um, obviously, the Mighty Woman... Uh, of Marvel loot chests are sticking around for a little while longer. They haven't said when they're removing them, but uh, they have both of these concurrently run at the same time is interesting, especially with the fact that these loot crates are going to have specific order of the hand marks. They're kind of like the um, Stark Tech research things from the Spider-Man event that was on previously. So I'm curious what they're... Well, I don't know what way they're actually balancing that out for actual like, content drops. Or is it actually going to be spread across the other boxes as well by the time the event's on? So everything's getting a 25% discount off, uh, obviously on the G's for a new event. It's basically to encourage people to pick up uh, more characters and more costumes. But of course, the Electro Pack itself is being shown at a price of 15 quid. So I'm going to be looking forward to trying out Electra later on. I've got a feeling that she's going to play very much like a um, Black Cat or 
Black Widow kind of mixture character because of her stealthiness and assassin, but not having really long range attacks. She'll be a lot more dashy and slashy, so it'll be a lot more bleed attacks and that kind of thing. So I'm curious to find out what way she's going to play, but we'll be worried about that at a later date. So we just grab those. Oh, uh, uh, hotspot every single goddamn time. I always have just a just too short of space in my pockets. Um, consumables, misc. What? Oh no, that's in storage. There's one in there. Yeah, I knew there was one of these. Ugh. And that was it. So it's actually the um, the constant uh, five daily. I knew I had enough space, but it's actually the five daily. Um, splinter remarks that actually filled up my pockets. Uh, uh, donate that. Uh, I've donated to the wrong thing. Normally I put that to my logistics, but we'll do it just for that now because we can get this out of the way. Um, retrieve all. Boom. Okay, so let's start in to the actual spy stack of uh, boxes because phew, we could be here for a little while. I'm curious to find out. Uh, so, yep, that's all 25 in there. Yep, sweet. Let's rock and roll. So box number one of Hell's Kitchen loot boxes. What have you got for us? We got five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, a minor experience boost, a large character experience token for Squirrel Girl, and two shield supply boosts. Yeah, that's a fair amount of boosts. Um, middling kind of like create there. First create, not going to blow my mind, but not too bad. Um, I might actually, I might actually prestige Squirrel Girl. <laughs> this is one of the things where I've got enough points for her, enough tokens for her now. 10 Marvelous Essence, 4 Marvelous Essence, a total of 14, a shitty ass credit chest, a random ultimate gift, and a large character experience token for Nova, which is a card I don't play as, so that'll help. Um, yep, that's not a great chest, but for 14 Marvelous Essence, I mean, essentially the same as if you had gotten a um, non-rare costume, so it's worth the same amount, 15, but that would have been a box of 15 to get on top. So yeah, still not great, not, not amazing, drops so far. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Nanotech Filament, and Random Hero Ultimate Gift, and a large character experience token for Colossus. Yeah, the, that's three crits so far that have actually been pretty mediocre. Um, large experience character tokens, always useful. Characters that I actually don't play that as often. Uh, it'll help me get them to 60 quicker. Four Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, a uh, Ionic Particle, Random Hero Ultimate Gift, and a large character experience token for Captain America, which yeah, I've got plenty of. I got like three or four of those in the last batch of Mar uh, Marvel Woman boxes, so eh, not great news. I got two of those, actually, I wasn't into three. Ten Marvelous Essence. 300? Is that 300? Legendary Marks? Alright, that's actually a lot of Legendary Marks. Four Marvelous Essence, so uh, 14 Marvelous Essence, 300 Legendary Marks. A craft chest, or sorry, a credit chest for of absolute garbage, and a large character experience token for magic. That's a lot. We're getting a lot more experience token drops in this box set, which is um, really surprising. They they, they weren't as fast as on regular as a drop, but still, we're what five boxes in and no costumes received yet. Four marvelous essence, a shitty ass credit chest again. That's no, but shit credit chest so far. Ionic Particle, large character experience token for Punisher, and a shield supply boost. These are not good drop rates so far. Uh, we've, got, we've got 20 dead chests to really redeem this in, but damn, this is still not great. Um, it's a really big difference from the, like, the last day or the last chance boxes I got for Marvelous Woman. So, five legendary marks, four Marvelous Essence, a credit chest for 5,000, which is garbage. Matrix of Unbinding! And a chest of 15 Marvelous Essence. So, our first costume, finally, is a repeat costume. Uh, it could be one of the Daredevil costumes I already have. It could be a Luke Cage costume I already have. It could be... That's it. That's only two that actually would have a repeating costume. Or it could be a Punisher costume I already have. So, um, I might actually already have that Marvel's Daredevil Punisher costume? Does it come in the Marvel Knights box? I'm not too sure. But yeah, um, I really want to have the other one, the, the bandaged up uh, something protocol one, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, five legendary marks, four Marvel Essence, credit chest, is just garbage, a uh, fucking shitty Matrix of Unbinding, and a chest of 15 Marvel Essence that, um, <laughs> that it's just a costume that I already have. I just had a great idea in my head for a t-shirt, just about a Matrix of Unbinding, but I'll I'll, I'll figure that out for some other time. So it, it distracted me from what I was reading. So we've got another 18 boxes to work through here. Four Marvelous Essence. A Heroes for Hire spray paint. Did we already have the Heroes for Hire one? I don't remember that being 
in previous verses. An enhanced genome, a random hero ultimate gift, and a matrix of unbinding! And I don't want any more of those. That's two. So we already got like six stack in the last one. So we've got another two on top of that. Where well, I'm going to, I'm going to see if there is a max stack for Matrix of Unbinding because I've got no use for them as it is. Hey, costume that we didn't already have. Marvel's Iron Fist costume. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Appearing in the Iron Fist Netflix series, Danny Rand proudly displays to the mark of Shao Shu Lao. The Undyne on his chest, the immortal weapon hides behind no armor, letting his fists provide all the protection he needs. <coughs> the immortal Iron Fist lives. Uh, two Eternity Splinters. F uh, is that five Eternity Splinters? Four Marvel Assassins. And a combination boost. I actually like getting combination boosts. So a costume, a combination boost, and um, a, pff, uh, not a brilliant stuff, but I, like, it's better, actually happier getting that than getting mats or like high quality or uncommon mats. So. Better to get the uh, costume combination boost. That was actually a good box. So we've gone, got two costumes in 10 boxes. Not a great drop rate, but um, at the same time, it's what, what, one in five chance. That's what that, what the, you're got a 20% chance of getting the costume so far. Four Marvel Assassins, Energized Particles, a credit chest of garbageness. A random hero ultimate gift and another random hero ultimate gift. We're going to have to open those later on to find out what they are, but... <sighs> not a not a great box again, but uh, that I mean, good box, bad box, one after another. It'd like, be surprising if you got multiple ones back to back. I just noticed there's a logo in the front of those boxes, Daredevil. So four Marvel Assassins, a, cre a shitty ass credit chest, uh, relics of the Gibrahim ten. That's all right. A chest of fifteen Marvel Assassins, so another costume. So that's three, three costumes, three regular costumes essentially out of the pack so far. And a matrix of unbinding, which is um, surprising. Like we haven't got a single one of these uh, order of the hand, so I'm assuming the order of the hand must be only through taking part in the events. So that's the only way to actually get those items now, rather than actually the Stark Tech stuff being inside the Spider-Man boxes, which was a bit weird. Okay, uh, Richard Gibrahim, That's actually a good thing, but it's only a stack of ten. Got a costume, so out of that box, not too bad. But of course, credit chest sitting in there, just sticking up the whole damn thing. Four Marvelous Essence, Energized Particles, Ionic Particle, a Matrix of Unbinding, and of course Relics of Subterranea by 20. So that should, I think that might bring me to max out for Subterranea, so another Relic for me. Happy days. Uh, but otherwise, not a great box in any way, shape, or form. Anytime there's a Matrix of Unbinding or a Credit Chest, I consider it a loss, really, at this point. Four Marvelous Essence, Futuristic Alloy, five Cosmic Fragments, 20 relics of Asgard and a shield supply boost. Eh, that's actually uh, for mats. That's mm, all right. But um, yeah, the relic and the shield supply boost. Nice to have those, but not all, not all, otherwise not really a box that's worth a couple of quid. Like so, yeah. Well, what can you do? We'll see what the drops continue on with. But uh, so far, it's what three costumes altogether. Not great. Not great at all. Two eternity splinters. Four marvelous essence. A shitty ass credit chest. A Relic of Asgard by 20, and a large character experience token for the Punisher. Um, Relic of Asgard's the only thing of real interest in that box. That credit chest pisses me off, as always. And again, like this has been, it's been very, very, been a lot of character tokens dropped in this so far, like AXP ones. They seem to have actually, like, they're they're filling in, like, a lot of the middle tier mats now with this, I suppose. Um, I suppose, uh, I can't begrudge them that because I'm not using the materials for anything, but I can use these immediately and they'll get characters up to level 60. And I think it might be part of the way to explaining one of the things that they're going to do with these Omega prestiging, where you're going to have to prestige the character a couple of times to actually get up there. So, mm, I don't know. What, what, what do they do next? They just keep on dropping us these EXP tokens because that's going to just reduce the time we're going to spend playing. 10 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Blade, an Astral Essence, and 20 Relic of the Gibrahim. Eh, not a great chest either. like the Relics, but at least, there's, at least there's no credit chest. That's the only benefit of that entire box. No credit chest and no Matrix of Unbinding. So we're down to the last 10 now, so in 15 chests we've got 3 costumes. Not great. Not great, I gotta tell you. Four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Jean Grey, a currency boost, 
A matrix of unbinding! Matrix of unbinding! And I don't like getting more than one of those at any time. Fuck matrices of unbinding. Let's not do that again, please. Especially in our last ten. Because that's... Uh, this is this is learning to look pearly for a, a drop rate. Because the, uh, the Marvel... Because consider this. The drop rate's garbage in this. And not a single one of them are an enhanced or a cosmic level costume. Think about that. No cosmic level costumes, no enhanced costumes in this box set. And these drops are bad. Real, real bad. So, mmm. 10 Marvelous Essence, 4 Marvelous Essence, Luke Cage spray paint, a large character experience token, and a credit chest for 100,000. Yeah, that's the only credit chest that's actually worthwhile getting. But yeah, the rest, um, another 14 Marvelous Essence, great, that'll go towards a costume, I'm sure, but guys, the, the drop rates are not great, not great at all. Yeah, get it, keep it at least in 40 percentile, like, well, like we're at this point now, it's going to be four costumes in 25, that's going, that is going, it's staying at a 20 percentile chance of catching a costume from the boxes? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Two, uh, two Externity Splinters, 25 Marvelous Essence, not too bad. Uh, four Marvelous Essence, so 29 in total, a 10 Relics of Wakanda, and a large character experience token for Black Panther. Alright. So the Relics of Wakanda, nice to receive. That's a nice stack of a Marvelous Essence for a box. I like to get 29. Uh, 29, better than actually... Get, like, that's better than getting a costume you already have now at the moment, which is, in my case, it's going to be a lot of the costumes already have a lot of them. But um, yeah, that's actually a good... That's a good crit. 29 Marvelous Essence. That's alright. Halfway to a costume in one box. But... Mm. Uh, not, not a costume drop. For Marvelous Essence, Luke Cage spray paint, a currency boost, Relic of Xandar, 20 of them, and a large character experience token for Beast. So uh, we get a fair amount of Relic drops in this, which is not too bad. Um, glad to see more currency boosts and combination boosts showing up, because they're the things I'm actually lacking compared to the experience boosts. So um, yeah, not too bad. I can accept that. That's all right. That's all right. But um, not a costume again. So we're still we're still at the twenty percent. Ten Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Heroes for Hire spray paint. That's my second one of those. A five Cosmic Fragment and a large character experience token for War Machine. All right, that's cool because I didn't really want to do a War Machine again. I didn't want to do another Iron Man character uh, with the leveling up. So at least then I'll get me up to level ten or eleven to start with. Um. Four Marvelous Essence, not a great box otherwise, but just for me personally, it was nice to actually get a Ward Machine token just to kind of level them up a little bit. But wow, not cool. Not cool at all. And we're running, we're running out of boxes here, guys. Four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Squirrel Girl, Relics of the Subterranea, number by 10, Random Hero Ultimate Gift, and a large character experience token for Captain America, which we have plenty of already. So yeah. Still not a great box. No great boxes showing up. And we got four left. We're down in the countdown there. This was five. Four. Five legendary marks. Four marvelous essence. Luke Cage spray paint. Another costume. So we're up to five costumes. So we are on 20%. A 20% drop rate out of... A 20% drop rate of a costume right, in 25 boxes. Like pretty much like we're at... Like, well, we're at 21 boxes now. We've got five costumes. I don't have a feeling that we're going to get many more of these. I've got, I'm, I'm really thinking I'm not going to get any more of these. So it has to be a costume. To increase the percentage of significant amount, we need to get a costume in each one of these next three boxes. And that's going to be rare. So um, large character experience token for Cyclops. Another costume. So five of them. Obviously one that I already have. So whoops de do. Um, yep. Not great news. Not great news at all. Three. Ten legendary marks, four marvelous essence, minor experience boost, ten relics of Xandar, and a large character experience token for Colossus. Not in the right home about. Not even in the relics if there was like twenty, more to write home about. Uh, minor experience boost, not even like a full experience boost. Not a great box. Not a great box by many stretches of imagination. So yep, uh, we're down to two. Ten legendary marks, four marvelous essence. A small character experience token for Doctor Strange. Uh, credit chest, uh, 10,001, uh, not great. And a matrix of unbinding, which I am tired of saying. I, I really wish I hadn't started that, but I'm going to keep at it every single time it shows up. Um, yeah, we're down to one last box, another garbage box at the end there. This drop, The drop rates in these are not 
Not pleasurable in any way, shape, or form, guys. Two Attorney Splendors, four Marvel Assassins, Unstable Molecule by five, large character experience token for Nova, and 50 Relics of Xandar. Right, so that's a, that's a better Relic drop anyway. That's not bad. So, uh, yeah, that was the last box. That was the last Hell's Kitchen loot box out of the 25. So five costumes in 25 boxes, 20% drop rate, um, a lot of character tokens for Iggy Experience, a lot of relic drops, not as many material drops, and a few uh, uh, Marvel's Essence drops of like 10 crates and 25 crates along the way. So, well, that, that was, that was uh, not exactly exciting. So, yeah, we've got all this stuff to pick up again. Um, see amount of character tokens and stuff that are going to be there. That's going to take me a while to actually clear out my pockets. Oh, right. I might do that in... I'll, I'll do that post-show. I'll do that in my own time rather than actually doing it, uh, interrupting you guys. But, yeah, that was five... <sighs> Doesn't even look good. So that was five character costumes in 25 boxes. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not particularly cool with that. I'm not cool with that at all. They, um, the one thing that actually I'm happier about, just like this, I'm, I'm trying to quickly move on from the crates because obviously they are flat garbage. I can't mindfully recommend the Hell's Kitchen loot crates with their current drop rates in any way, shape, or form because that was not cool at all. That was, mm -mm, that was like that. So costumes wise, it was all ones I already had. So you're chatting. It was most likely. My Punisher costume that I have, the uh, Punisher costume that I have, the Luke Cage costume I have, the Punisher, uh, the Daredevil costumes that I have, that all looped over itself. And the only one I got was uh, the Marvel Iron Fist costume for Danny Rand. And that is not great. Um, I expected maybe, like, at least, I don't even have Electra yet, so give me her one of her costumes. She had two in that box. One of her costumes would have been fine. Because even then, if I had gotten the character later on, then I would get the redeemed value of that. But give the, give the character, give her, give the costume for the newest character available. Give a re, give a higher drop rate for that, so the least that current people are like, oh, we well, got a costume for her now. Yeah, might as well buy her. So that's not cool. So what they've done with Moon Dragon is they've taken the costumes out of this, which was a major problem I found whenever I was sorting through it previously. All the other stuff that you can buy with Marvelous Essence, which is the boost. All cool to still have here and the power upgrades, but what they have done is they've moved the costumes into the store, which is makes sense because the costumes were already in the store before they switched over to that new method and placed them in here. So you can actually see what costumes are available at any one time for a particular player. So yeah, the Daredevil, there's three Daredevil costumes that I could have got, and I got none of the above. I mean, that so there's three Daredevil costumes I could have got, and I didn't get any of those. Uh, let's go, so with three costumes there, let's see, is there, where's the, uh, so I got the Marvel's, Iron, Marvel's Iron Fist, that was a nice one to get, great news, um, where else are we looking for, looking for Luke Cage, right, so I have two out of the three costumes, the only one I don't have is the hooded version of Luke Cage's costume, fine, and who else was there, uh, Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and of course it's going to be Elektra here at the bottom, and, yeah, I've got the two, I'm missing the two costumes for her, which look cool. I love, I love the designs of the Elektra Netflix costume. I'm, it's dark ninja -y kind of thing. She's not dressed in red, but still, I like it. I like it a lot. So, yeah, um, we didn't get any, the only costume we got was the Marvel Iron Fist one that I didn't already have. Where's Punisher in here? Because he's the other one that I already had. So, essentially, I was getting costume for characters that I already had sorted out. Where, is, where did Punisher go? Did I go past him too quickly? There he is over there. See, I already have the Marvel's Daredevil version of them, so that was essentially, that was what I kept getting repeating on. I kept getting costumes that I already owned. So yeah, the drop rates are not great at all in the um, in the setup. That's not really cool. <laughs> Participation tickets, so telling you how to actually take part in the actual uh, events. And she looks badass as hell, I have to say. So um, yeah, guys, that was the... Uh, loot boxes, the Hell's Kitchen loot boxes for Marvel Heroes Omega and version 1.12, a kind of quick look at what's there. I'll be coming back with an Electra character video at some point to just see what kind of build I'm going to build out of her. And um, I'm, I'm just curious to know what the crack is with those costumes because those drop rates were so offensively bad that, wow, I've, 
I, I was that that did not entertain in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm sorry. I feel really bad uh, that I actually like that was as unentertaining. There were no surprises, no joys, no happiness in that. That was just kind of depressing. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you actually enjoyed watching the videos here on the channel. If you enjoy watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. If you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand. Just memorize the name, past t of Skin. It's right there. It's easy to find. If you search for me, I will be there. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. So just remember the name. That's all you need to do. And if you're watching this on YouTube by any chance, There'll be a button up there that'll actually take you to the, uh, probably the Patreon now or to another page. To there will actually be a playlist that'll actually allow you to see other stuff that are like this. Over the far side will be the most recent video on my channel. And right here will be a video for you based on all the user analytics and the things that you do on YouTube. It'll pick a video for you to watch that actually is based on the stuff that I make. So if you wondering what to watch after this, click that one. Don't even worry about the autoplay. Just click that one. That's the one that you want to be watching. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next unboxing. Bye.